My package just came, yo. Perfect. Just on time. Uh, feels a little heavier than uh, what I ordered. This one was that is heavy. Yeah, I only ordered one. But look, it says two Pawn Stars from No Life, Life Bay Neat. You think this is a mistake? The thing is, is what could they have sent yeah. us? Because this thing is heavy. This thing weighs like, like three or four pounds, dude. The thing's heavy. So I'm just curious to what's in that box. Damn. We know you ordered something though. Yeah. And because I, I already know hey. what's in here. Giant uh, weight. <laughs> we we, we got an extra oh, package. Oh, yeah. my God. oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, so I already know what's in here. Let's go ahead and open up what they actually. Yeah. Let's what's this one is? I'm really curious. And well, well, you think we showed up this one first? Actually, let's open up this yeah, one. Real okay. Quick. Right, yeah, yeah. Right, so right. let's just make sure the order is right to begin with. Yeah. And then oh, from there, we can kind of figure out, figure out where, yeah, where things are gonna go from yeah, there. All right. <sighs> Is it from Santa? I think so. It's got Santa gift wrapping paper on it, but it says from No Live Bait Needed. So we're just kind of confused right now, guys. Yeah, because all I ordered was these these three packs right here. Right. And I think that there might order... be a fishing rod or something. Yeah, there like could, a tiny fishing rod. Who knows what can be inside there, to be honest with you guys. But there's only one way to find out, all right? We are going to have to unbox this package right now. OMG, I can't wait to see what's inside, boy. You ready for this, Pawn Stars? Yes, sir. Sherman, are you ready for this? Heck yes! All right. On the count of three. One, two, three! three! Oh! oh! Kidding me? Oh, bro! My what? Oh, Look crazy. at all these lures that are coming out of this box right now. I cannot believe my eyes. Santa, R.I.P. Santa. Holy smokes, guys! Look at all the swim baits that we got Damn. for Christmas from No Life Bait Needed. Wow, well, I don't even know what to say. I'm just shocked at this point. Oh my god. But not only that, look. Uh. Look what else they sent us, dude. Ooh. They sent us the jig heads. So oh. now we can put the baits on the jigs and they match perfectly. Look, there's a green one. There's a purple one. Yeah, the purple one's there's right a here. There's a, another type of green one. There's like a, oh my goodness, there's so many. Oh, Damn. look at that. It's huge. That's so damn all good. All these colors. There's blue, there's green, there's purples. Oh wait, what's this one? You can't forget about this. This is uh. It's a man behind the slaughter. This is the mend it. Paul Stars, this has got to be a mistake, dude. This has got to be a mistake. Yeah, this has to be a mistake. Oh wait, no, there's a note in here. Hold on. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. All right. Maybe it was from Santa after all. Cause look, there's a picture of Santa right there. But let's open it up and see what it says, all right guys? Okay. It says, Dear Iguana Man and Pawn Stars, we watch and we like your YouTube channel. We seen you place an order. Here is a gift from us to you. P.S. Enjoy and keep on catching. May your Christmas be very happy and wonderful. With a new year to follow. Wow. So, Santa? This isn't a mistake. The, they actually sent us a gift, man. It we, is. That's crazy, yo. Santa. Santa oh. watched our videos, so I think one of the elves did it. Yeah. Like naughty, like naughty from Christmas Chronicles 2. Santa is. Guys, Santa and No Live Bait Needed just sent us all these lures. Look at this right here. Look Limited at this lineup. Edition. Oh my god. It's so colorful. I know, they're like every single different color of the rainbow. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So these colors, man, these colors, basically, let's go over the first one real quick. This is basically called the sand croaker color. And as you know, sand croaker is really a popular bait fish for snook. So this is gonna imitate a sand croaker perfectly. Uh, these colors are really nice, they're really versatile. So for example, we have this one, which is gonna imitate a green sardine. And as you can see, why it looks just like a greenback. Oh yeah, it's even got the the silver scaling on it too. Yeah, really popular really bait fish. So basically, you just want something that's gonna imitate 
what's already out there. And match the hatch. And match. we got the limited edition. Ooh, this one actually uh, had to get two packs because it reminds me of a blue heron. Oh, that's really cool, man. That's a that's a beautiful Dude, looking bait right there. That so that color is just so brilliant Dude. and vibrant and Dude. it has a lot of contrast. As you no, see, it gets dark and then it gets lighter. Scales it look, it looks crazy real, guys. It, it, these look baits are looking. This, I just look at the scale. Before of today and Pond Stars <laughs> uh, showing us this stuff, guys, yeah, I had no so idea much. about these lures, guys. These look absolutely amazing. So we have the blue Dude. one. And what's 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 another uh, favorite one that we I have? I think I know how to do uh, it. I think this chartreuse one. This chartreuse one's gonna stand out. Look at the look how vibrant that color is. Whoa. Dude, this that thing doesn't even look real, bro. <laughs> That color's gonna cut through the water like nobody's business, man. This thing is, oh yeah, it's high visibility right there. Yeah, really high visibility. So perfect for like low light situations. Um, I personally caught a few fish on them already. All right, so look, let's check out this other one. Let's check out, this one is just straight purple. Straight purple, so. Yeah, from what I hear, like, the darker the water, the darker the lures. <laughs> it doesn't really make much sense, but for some reason, that's just what I've been hearing. So we have to put that theory to the test. Absolutely. So let's check out this one. This one doesn't have a paddle tail. It's called the uh, the little mullet. So, uh, mullet? Like, 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 like the bait fish? Yeah. Oh, they made a, a bait to imitate the finger mullet. They no did. No way. So, no way. Are you kidding me? Not kidding you. Let me let me see what this bad boy oh, looks like. Okay. Guys, come on now. How, looks... how cool is that right there? How cool is that? It's, it's got the same silhouette, it's got the oh, big gosh. eye, it's got the scale, it's got the it's even got the tail! The same exact tail as these mullets. And from the look at it, it looks like you can work it on top of the water, in the middle of the water, on the bottom. It actually comes with this hook right and here. 47 it's just... meters! So this hook right here, it's a screw lock hook, so basically it's going to keep the lure secure to the hook. Oh, that's what that was in the package. Yeah. I was looking at this and I was like, why is there a screw in here? Yeah. We're not building a house or something like that. Why are there <laughs> screws? Yeah. But apparently, too, they make screw lock jig heads. Pump stars, you want to show them one of the screw lock jig heads? Absolutely, bro. Let's take a look at them. And they do come in different sizes as well, guys. They have uh, three-fourths ounce half ounce one ounce a quarter ounce whatever whatever size yeah. uh, uh jig head you want they have those too but look look at that right there definitely guys. quality right there without a doubt look at that right there guys you can just basically screw on your bait so it never comes off it doesn't matter if you have a shark on a cuda or if you're casting along structure the rocks or around the bridge the bait once you put it on there it's going to stay on there, guys. It is going to stay on there. That is really, really awesome. Yeah, thank you so much, No Light Bait Needed, for sending us this Christmas gift. We really appreciate it. It's exactly how it sounds. No Light Bait Needed. Guys, go ahead and give them a follow. They have all these lures available, and you can fish these anywhere, guys. If you're in Florida, New York, if you're on the West Coast, guys, these lures definitely produce fish, all right? So go ahead, check them out. And you guys can order yourself some of these lures and comment down below also, which is your favorite color? So bro, like how, how do these lures work? Do you just put them on a hook and throw them out or something? No bro, you basically cast the lure out and as you reel it up, the tail is going to be wobble on the paddle tail. So it's right going to be swimming like a regular, like a Ex real fish. Exactly, it's going to be moving like a real fish. <laughs> and then basically a fish is going to come up right behind it and completely just attack it. Real simple, all you got to just put the screw lock right in the middle of the bait and then just twist. So boom, once it's all the way in, as you see, the lure is attached to the hook and no matter what, it's not gonna come off. Nice. So there's, a, there's there. a little slot right here. Oh, look at and that. And it's an extra wide gap hook right here. So what you wanna do is line it up, position it, and just bring it right out the middle of the bait oh my goodness right out the middle of the bait so it's basically weedless at this point so if so, i am at a spot that snook and tarpon are yeah. there i can throw this and this is going to be equivalent to having a live mullet basically 
basically, wow. yeah. Wow. Or even like an injured mullet, depending on the type of action in the rod tip and how you want to use it. Now, also keep in mind that uh, snook and tarpon love to hang around structure. So this is not going to get caught up on a piling. It's not going to get caught up in the weeds. It's going to flutter straight through it. So it's going to look seamless. Presentation is everything. And once the tarpon and sees, once the tarpon or a snook sees that going over the weeds and stuff, and not yeah. getting hooked up on the weeds, it's gonna look natural. It's gonna, it's gonna look, look good. Real. Wow.